Controversy and football go together like yin and yang, or Harry Redknapp and Nico Kranchkar, if you would. You just can't have one without the other. Here we have a sport that's built around physicality and men trying to knock each other out of the way to win a football, so it stands to reason that sometimes sanity isn't at the forefront of a lot of these people's minds. Over the years, we've been lucky enough to witness some of the top talents in football, but along with that comes ego, fragility, and sometimes a tendency to go a little bit off the rails, be it violence, offensive comments, on and off the pitch incidents, or sometimes all of the above. Strapping for drama, welcome to Good Sport Reviews. My name is Lewis, and here are the top 10 most controversial Premier League players ever. Number 10, Saul Campbell. While Saul Campbell didn't particularly cause massive controversy by getting into fights on the training ground or putting cigarettes out in youth players' eyes, oh, we'll get to you, Joey Barton, don't you worry. He did, however, cause a whirlwind in North London when he betrayed all Tottenham fans by making the groundbreaking transfer to Arsenal after saying himself that he'd never play for the Gunners as long as he lived. His contract expired at Tottenham in the summer of 2001, and while there was huge clubs across Europe interested in the defender's services, Campbell decided that he wanted to remain in England and play Champions League football competing for honours. He was branded Judas by Spurs fans following the move and this is an opinion that has stuck with the defender over 20 years later. He went on to achieve amazing things at Arsenal including giving a key part of the invincible season but the move he made across London has remained one of the most controversial transfer moments in Premier League history putting him at number 10 firmly on this list. Number nine, Duncan Ferguson. Duncan Ferguson is what happens when you give a hitman 10 Red Bulls and a photo of someone to kill. He's one of the most imposing players in Premier League history. Duncan Ferguson was a powerhouse on the pitch, with the former Everton and Newcastle striker being tied for the worst disciplinary record alongside Patrick Vieira and Richard Dunn. Nine red cards shows just how into his combat sports Duncan Ferguson was, and moments like the seven-match ban he received in the 05-06 season when he nearly sent Pascal Chimbonda to an early grave really showed just how unhinged the six foot four brick Markovic house could be. Not only that, but he served three months in prison for headbutting John McStay during a spell at Rangers, and he punched and kicked the supporter who was using crutches. Not what to say really about that. A talented striker, but someone who just couldn't keep his physicality in check at the best of times. Number eight, Craig Bellamy. I mean, really, he should be number four. Do you, do you get it? Do you get it? It's a golf phrase. Do you get it? Anyway, Craig Bellamy was a polarizing figure during his football career, with some players and fans saying he was incredible on the pitch and others saying he was a bit overrated, but they all seem to agree on one thing though, and that is Craig Bellamy took controversy with him wherever he went. The former Man City and Liverpool winger was raised in a life of, shall we say, questionable activities, with the man himself admitting to helping friends steal car radios as a child and being on lookout while they engaged in other criminal acts. He once broke the arm of a trialist goalkeeper while at Norwich City, threw a chair at a coach, and once, tried to attack John Arnaresa with a golf club because they had an argument at the bar in Barcelona. Yes, he actually went to Risa's room while he was asleep and in his own words, thwacked Risa on the buttocks. Risa said it was more violent than that and the Welshman was fined two weeks wages and branded the nutter with the putter. A talented player for Liverpool, Newcastle, Man City and Cardiff who could have reached the very top of English football if his own personal demons didn't prevent him from reaching his full potential. Number seven, El Hadji Juf. Another list, another mention of the walking, talking spit machine that was El Hadji Juf. I've already mentioned him in one of my previous lists, how he decided to act like Lizard from Mortal Kombat and spit at a Celtic fan, how he publicly shamed Steven Gerrard, saying he was, quote, a nobody. Great reading of character there, El Hadji. Brendan Rodgers would be proud. This is a very Liverpool-centred one with Jamie Carragher himself, saying that after his first training session with Juf, he went home in a state of depression and said in his autobiography that following Liverpool's loss to Portsmouth in the 2004 FA Cup, Juf was, again, quote, blasting rave music from his car and dancing across the car park. His attitude disgusted me. They are quotes from Jamie Carragher's actual book. He mocked Jamie Mackey while he was lying on the pitch with a broken leg and he got into consistent fights behind the scenes of the club. Might be a bit of a personal one for this list. I do have a bit of bias towards this one, but the man who couldn't walk the walk and couldn't talk the talk without dribbling or spitting at someone was a disgrace to the Premier League and will be remembered more for his controversial moments more than he will his goals. 
Number six, Eric Cantona. Say what you want about Eric's moment of madness, but the flying Frenchman was about as talented as they came, with many people claiming that the day Manchester United signed Eric from Leeds was the day that Manchester United started their domination over English football. This moment alone caused shockwaves in the footballing landscape in much the same way Saul Campbell's move from Tottenham to Arsenal did, but that isn't the reason Eric makes this list. No, that would be because in 1995 against Crystal Palace, Eric Cantona decided to deliver a sacred blow to the face of a Crystal Palace fan by jumping the barrier and delivering a flying kick with great vengeance and furious anger. The moment of madness has become one of the most talked about incidents in Premier League history and it's something people still ask Eric about to this day with the former French international saying that he does not regret his actions. He was banned from football for eight months and fined £10,000 for the infringement Chaos at its classiest sums up Eric Cantona's time in England perfectly. Number five, Roy Keane, one of the greatest midfielders and leaders the Premier League has ever seen. Roy Keane went on to lift seven Premier League titles, four FA Cups, and the 1999 Champions League final. And while on the surface that seems perfect and the sign of a model professional, Roy Keane wasn't quite like that when you looked a little deeper. In terms of commitment and desire on the pitch, he was a model example to follow, but in terms of moments of controversy, he's up there with Boris Johnson. From engaging in a fight with Arsenal's Patrick Vieira in the tunnel, to admitting to trying to end the career of Alfin Haaland by breaking his leg, to the moment he left Manchester United after criticising his teammates following a 4-1 loss to Middlesbrough with Sir Alex Ferguson himself admitting he had to sell the player for fear of losing control of the dressing room and being viewed differently by his teammates. The rant was on Manchester United TV and the club actually couldn't air it because of the comments. He's become a beloved member of the Sky Sports team now and has become a terrific pundit, but his desire for success on the pitch made him his own worst enemy at times and as a result, he will go down in Premier League history as one of the most controversial players in its history. Number four, John Terry, a great defender who was able to maintain the highest levels of ability on the pitch despite his aging years and led a revolution at Chelsea under a magnitude of different managers. John Terry was a terrific player and one of the best centre-backs the Premier League has ever seen. He's also one of the most controversial players in the history of modern football. Back in 2002, Terry and Chelsea teammate Jody Morris were fined after a violent altercation with a nightclub bouncer. Fast forward eight years and Terry was the story of every newspaper. It was being discovered that the England international was having a four month long affair with Vanessa Peronsel, the former partner of Wayne Bridge, who had been John Terry's Chelsea teammate in the past. The two met during a clash between Man City and Chelsea, where Wayne refused to shake the hand of the Chelsea captain, causing a whirlwind in the football media scene. This moment here has gone down in Premier League history because of the controversy behind it. And of course, the racist incident with Anton Ferdinand, where he received a four-match ban, a £220,000 fine, and was stripped of the England captaincy for a second time. For all he was one of the best ever, John Terry allowed his footballing life and personal life to bleed together, and it resulted in one of the most polarising figures in Premier League history being born. Number three, Mario Balotelli. Why always me, you ask? Because you're always being a knob, Mario, that's why. On a serious note, Mario Balotelli is without a doubt one of the biggest what-ifs in football history. And throughout his time as a professional footballer in England, he was littered with controversy, much like a street in Colombia was littered with bodies. Towards the beginning of his time at Man City, he was involved in a car crash with the police officers discovering £5,000 in cash in the car. And when they asked why he had it there, he simply replied, because I am rich. I mean, fair play to that, I can't argue. He drove to a women's prison to, quote, have a look around like a kid looking around Toys R Us. He threw darts at youth team players. And of course, the infamous why always me moment when he scored against Manchester United and lifted his kit to show the infamous shirt, taking a dig at newspapers to question why he was always a subject of report. I mean, it could be to do with the fact that the night before this match, you set part of your house on fire by letting off fireworks inside of it. I mean, that might have something to do with it. Without a doubt, Mario is one of the most entertaining players the Premier League has ever seen, but not for the right reasons. He was a player who was known more for his actions off the pitch rather than on it. And this is something that at points derailed his career and derailed one of the most promising players in Europe. Number two, Luis Suarez. From an awful Liverpool striker to one of the best in the club's history, Luis Suarez was, for a stretch, at time, the best 
striker in world football and during his time at Liverpool was a mould of controversy and talent. He began in 2012 with the Uruguayan diving in front of David Moyes after scoring against his Everton team, we do love to see it, and from then it only escalated with the striker biting Ivanovic in 2013, resulting in a seven match suspension and widespread media attention on the striker for the moment of violence. He returned the following season, almost led Liverpool to a first ever Premier League title with a squad that consisted of players like John Flanagan and Ali Sissoko, I mean, good God. However, despite all this, he will still be remembered for the most public display of player hatred in the league's history when he racially abused Manchester United defender Patrice Evra and refused to shake his hand the next time the two clubs met, resulting in media backlash the likes of which hadn't been seen in years. Suarez himself has apologised for the incident and Evra has forgiven the striker, but this moment was the biggest display of on-field apathy between two players in years and stamped Suarez's name into the history books as one of the most talented but most polarising players in the history of England. And number one, Joey Barton. Joey Barton, who recently has become the subject of nationwide hatred, and for good reason, might I add, has always been a person steeped in controversy. His entire career has been a long-running joke of who can I piss off next, and the answer to that question is everyone. He once extinguished a cigarette in the eye of a teammate for f sake, got into an altercation with a 15-year-old fan in Bangkok, punched Morton Gamp's pedestal in the face, got sent off for trying to fight every single member of the Man City squad in 2012 during the infamous Aguero game, was charged with gambling breaches for making over 1,260 bets in a 10-year spell. I mean, Jesus Christ, career is littered with more assault charges than trophies, and he's become a subject of major criticism because of his opinions on, quote, woke culture, despite being a, a supporter of the LGBTQ plus community in these photos here. Just because you're retired, Joey, doesn't mean your history disappears. It's not a FIFA game. A man who has made a career off of other people's misery. Joey Barton has shown numerous times that he's one of the most controversial players in Premier League history and will be remembered for all the wrong reasons. And that's our list. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you have any opinions or any other players who you'd like to mention, please put them down below. And make sure to hit like and subscribe for the next video. Thank you very much.